We have a lovely new challenge stage in Clash of Clans just in time for Valentine's Day. What's going on Clash Mashers? Rocky here today and today I'm going to show you guys how to beat the Valentine's Day challenge just in time to impress your sweetie with a three star. Alrighty guys, this base has a lot of tricks on it, but I'm going to show you how I've been beating this base pretty consistently. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with our queen over in this crevice and there's three buildings that we're going to focus on. The two storages and the eagle and we want her to get through two of those buildings, whether it be one of the storages and the eagle or both storages we want her to get about through two of those and then we're going to put our king in so once she starts working on that we're going to put our king in about now right there to work on that wall there are tornadoes over here but that's just going to slow the queen down a little bit it's not really a big deal because she'll come back in and follow the king in now once the king gets through this second wizard tower we're going to go ahead and put in a skeleton spell or gets to the second wizard tower i should say we're going to put in the skeleton spell to start spawning skeletons over here uh, just to help these guys out a little bit. And then we're going to go ahead and put in that second skeleton spell. And then we're going to go ahead and hit our king's ability. We're going to put in our stone slammer with three balloons right through there. Okay? So they'll all work through there. We're going to have clan castle troops getting pulled out. It's just a bunch of archers. So we want to poison all of these archers to try to take them down. All right? Pretty simple, guys. Pretty simple. The stone slammer and the loon should take out all of those uh, Teslas over there. Or at least most of them. Even if the stone slammer pops, there's more balloons in there. Queen's going to work through here. And we're just going to let her do her thing. Let those balloons work and do their thing. In the meantime, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go put like three dragons here and four over here. And then put in our warden. Keep an eye on your queen. You will have to pop her ability. And we're just working now, guys. We are just working through here. Uh, and really, like, I didn't find an amazing spot for the bat spell. I, I found myself forcing it a lot. So really, if you want, like, you can throw the bat spell in here. Or you can save it till later. But right about this point, we're going to go ahead and we're going to rage right through here. And we're going to put in this lava hound right about there. Because there are a ton of red air bombs in this compartment. So we're going to try to preserve as much of the health for the electro dragons by using the lava hound to soak up all of those air bombs all right you see all those air bombs going off it's pretty insane we'll go ahead and we'll rage we'll hit our warden ability through there just in case any of the singles are locked on and we should be able to get right on through here guys you can throw in uh minions right over here to help clean but really we just got to get through this last compartment and just like that we're we're through the base i mean that's that's all that's left we can't throw in our archer over here but the tornadoes might catch her really it just comes down to the time on the cleanup which we should have plenty of time although there are tornadoes over there on that far side we could have probably set them off with the minions but it's okay this is how i've been beating the challenge now like i said with this bad spell uh you can use that early like on the eagle but i feel like the queen does good on the eagle by herself you can use the bat spell on the singles down here at this bottom compartment, but I kind of like just throwing it in to help shield for the Electro Dragons just a little bit extra. Uh, make sure your Warden ability is decent just to catch some of those red air bombs, and you'll be fine, guys. You'll get a three-star and impress your sweetie for Valentine's Day. And as always, guys, if this guide was helpful for you, make sure you leave a like on it so YouTube knows you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notifications for more Clash Clans videos. You guys have a great day. Keep on Clash Bashing.